for Blackman. You've got number 11, Peyton Huff, big number 92, Ashton Doss, who's a defensive lineman. You've got number three, that's Anthony Collier, and number 10, Donovan Holloway. Yeah, and it's a shame to see Donovan Holloway not dressed, an excellent running back for the Blackman Blaze. Yeah, Blackman, kids. Blackman's got about a, a third. Here we go, foot here we go. Blackman has declined, or deferred to the second half, excuse me. Riverdale's getting the ball. So Blackman won the toss. Riverdale's getting the ball first. These two teams. Here comes like the Blackman Blaze through their banner as they take their sideline. And now we'll whip down here to Riverdale. There you go, kid. All right, there you go. And they run through the backyard brawl, tearing away the black paper. And now let's see if we can get this spear in the ground. And they get it in the ground right into the R underway here on Stork Vision, sponsored by John Jones. John Jones Real Estate. Nobody sells homes like John. Graham from a shotgun. Handoff coming this way. Works up to the 40, 45, up to the 50. Pushed out of bounds. Now a little hourglass that works the sponsor. DJ Taylor is going to go to the left of Graham and four wide receivers. Graham looking to throw. Gets it off. Oh, goodness, Anthony, burning him. Did he get in? He did. <laughs> touchdown, Montgomery. Touchdown, Riverdale Warriors. Khalil Armand on to kick the PAT. Armand bust it. That's going to make it 7 nothing, Anthony. Warriors come out, start fast, make a statement, get the away team on their heels. Blackman Blaze territory, two to the top, one to the bottom, a single back to the left. Braden Graham sets to throw, throws, completes it, and now, oh no, it's going to be a touchdown, Anthony. Nobody's going to touch him. Look who it is. Again, Brock Montgomery. Make Luke Smith's the holder, and Gibson Frost is your long snapper. So Frost to Smith to Khalil Armand. Khalil Armand will kick on Saturday's kick. Oh, bad snap. Luke Smith's happened this four. He covers it up. Or it's 13 to nothing. Riverdale. Riverdale. Man, what a start if you're Riverdale. In the first quarter, Carter Gregory trying to get him set. He sends Campbell Lee down to put in that slot. Back to Gabe Perkins. Perkins, man, he found a hole, and he's gotten them all the way up. About a nine-yard gain. So Dragu out here all by himself. Little jet sweep, then they're going to reverse it. Perkins has got it. He's on that far, and they read it like a book, Anthony. I mean, swallowed him up in that backfield. Yeah, you're exactly right. Five wide receivers is what Carter Gregory's got to choose from, and they're going to run their routes. Here we go. Coverage. They blitz. They get it off to Campbell Lee. Lee, and he almost got about half of it back. Gregory kick him one this tonight. Carter Gregory gets it off and going to call for a fair catch. Oh, Ooh, did that touch him? I don't know. It did not, they say. Wow. Dangerously close there, though. Uh oh, oh, no, no. They're running. They didn't blow the whistle. We've got 10 players down here on the field for Riverdale's they offense. Are they signaling? Are they signaling touchdown? Nobody blew a whistle, I don't think. Okay, so they're going to talk Coward. about this. Dominic Coward. If you're uh, Brock Montgomery, he's having a great ball game to start there. Just a little bit of a blunder. Blackman, you've got. Carter Gregory, quarterback, second down, second and 10. Hands off to Kate Perkins on the right side. And man, he is met at the front line, Anthony. Who it is, JoJo Smith there Boy, on Joe, the stop. JoJo Smith, you don't want no. Can help the Blackman blaze. Riverdale looks like they're going to bring pressure, so they're going to have to get the ball out of their hands quickly if, they're, if you're Carter Gregory. Perkins oh, they rush forward. rolls out. He's going to catch the little screen pass, and boy, he is gobbled up quickly, Anthony. Graham does a good job there, recognizing he's going to change his protection, probably change the play. I think they're going to run the ball. And they give it to D.J. Taylor. He reverses and spins back the other way, and, man, he's gashed them bad, Anthony. I mean, really laid the wood to him. That's going to work up to about see, the See, when 50. you run that outside zone play, Stork, that's what the – that. Three down, four down wide receivers. Here comes a safety blitz. DJ Taylor again, working on him. Boy, he's got him now. Taylor is off to the one to beat. Taylor's going to score. 
He's going to go in and untouch. Touchdown, DJ Taylor. Touchdown, Riverdale Warriors. Well, and they blitz one of the safeties. That Frost to snap. Luke Smith to hold and Khalil Armand from the desk of George Nisic at the end of first quarter. Mount Juliet 14, uh, Lebanon 14, Mount Juliet 0. Khalil Armand. Did you want to take my phone away from yeah, me, Yeah, I was going to tell you, text him back and tell him to keep that score coming in. I don't have to. George is listening to us. He'll he'll keep it coming in. Keep us, keep us, keep us happy, George. Sam's got it now. The Warriors 20. Fans. They're up 20 to nothing. Our sponsor tonight is John Jones. John Jones Real Estate. Nobody sells homes like John. Matt told me that yesterday that she would set in the end zone to be partial or not partial. But Brayden Graham's coming to the earth. Ball's out. Uh, did the ball come out? I don't know, but oh, number one, Ethan Carson got back there. And yeah, Ethan Graham. Carson. Fourth and five now in Khalil Armand. So a Gibson Frost to uh, snap. Luke Smith to hold, Khalil Armand to kick. 33-yard attempt here for Armand. Missed it, pushed it just a little too much. Carter Gregory from a shotgun, gonna send one in motion. That's gonna be Campbell Lee. Faked it, gave it back to Campbell Lee, and Campbell Lee's gonna get the first down. Flag, four wide receivers. Are Carter Gregory's weapons. Campbell Lee in motion. Back to Kay Perkins, and man, they read it like a book. They've got him tied up, and man, they treat him like hamburger. They keep Guy to the top of the screen. Perkins is to the left of Gregory. Give it back to Kay Perkins. No, he there pulled it, it. He pulled it. Got him. That's. Touchdown, Blackman. Touchdown, Dragoo. And a good. Well, Ron Bozen is going to kick it. Boron Bozen. Boron Bozen splits the uprights. Gets there you him go, seven. Stork. Good job. <laughs> it's a tough you did name. Good. It's a tough name. The backyard oh, brawl, other known as the Kreisky Bow. I don't know where I got the 20. Either way, Braden Graham from a shotgun looking to throw. Got plenty of targets, catching some heat. And he's going to come to the earth. So he's going to go with four wide receivers. Graham. Let's see what he does. He's going to throw it. Catching a little heat, works up through the pocket. He stays on his feet, and he's going to run it and try to run out of it, and he does. And he comes to the earth, Anthony. Beach just slamming Siegel 28-3. to From a shotgun, Graham will work. Looking to throw. Zips it across the middle, Anthony. It's first and one. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's oh, okay. balls on the uh, nine-yard line. They can still get a first down at yeah, the nine. Yeah, they can still get yeah, a first yeah, yard. Yeah. Graham. Oh, a good route oh, that team. time by Keyshawn Williams, and he's in. Touchdown, Williams. Touchdown, Riverdale. What a great route and a good ball from Smith. To hold Actually, yeah, they still, got, they still got Luke Smith out there holding. It's there. Staff, everybody's doing a great job tonight. You, 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 you'll see a complete pass. Yeah, you don't we'll have to see, call we'll timeout. See what they do here. How aggressive they yeah. get if they're Blackman. You want to do He's everything you can to make that football go into the ground, and it doesn't. It goes into the hands of number one, and that's Ethan Carson. Still Carson on his, on his feet. Carson has drilled him for a ton of yardage. He's impossible to come down. He's up to the 24 or 23 and a half. Big play there by Ethan Carson. And it's Morris, and we're saying it's Whitfield. I don't know if it's a nine or a four. Gregory cuts it loose. Look who's in the end zone. Touchdown, Blaze. That's number 11. Bigelow. Yeah, and Bigelow. That did a heck of a job right there on leading his team and not getting impatient. Just great job. Born Bozen on the kick, the PAT. He pops it. With a buck 13 left to go here in the first half. Out, it's going to be Riverdale. Blackman's ball. 11 and 28, Mount Juliet 7. Wow. Onesto going to run tomorrow. That'd Gulf be Street. a big win for Lebanon as Mount Juliet's undefeated. Four wide receivers as Braden Graham has now completed it across the midfield mark. There's Woodruff there, his second catch. Not, what did I say, Stork? Within field goal range. Braden Graham looking to throw. Throws it, completes it. 
It's now up to the 35, now up to the 30, the 25, the 20, up to the 15, the 10, the 5. Wow. Keyshawn Williams on an out route reverses field and gets it into the end zone. What two plays? Blackman scored Did a little shake and bake and got it into the end zone. I know, I know you've got three timeouts left if you're Blackman, but with only 30 seconds, Blackman hasn't been able to move the ball quickly, so that really, really hurts. Well, there. and Khalil Armand's going to kick it in the end zone, so he's going to start on the 20. Probably so. so. Doing a great job tonight. Just hang in there. Yes, you are. You're doing, doing great. great. Doing great. I'll get those scores ready. Take over, Anthony. I got it. Graham from a shotgun, five wide receivers. As we get ready, looking, looking. I'm going to throw it downfield, and it's intercepted. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, up to the 10. 18 seconds left. Shoot, you can still kick a field Boy, goal. Boy, yeah, exactly, 13th, I mean, yeah. and it's it's been spooky, that's for sure. <laughs> Will Kreisky's pumpkin is full of candy. I'm telling you, man, as he's gotten some great grabs of knocking on doors. Braden Graham's going to work from a shotgun. Three to the top, one to the bottom. DJ Taylor's to the left of him. Graham looking to score and throw, and he's done just that. Look who it is again. Keyshawn Williams on a slant. With 10 seconds left. Blackman will get the football coming out, but uh, Stork, Anthony, this has gone from a two-possession game to a four-possession game in a span of what? A minute and ten seconds? Yes. Wow. Come on, Burt Brown. Grayson County's tonight. They've really piled in here at Riverdale. Enjoy the bands. Enjoy some of the festivities. Uh, Whoop. Letting Blackman have the ball back on that fair catch uh, call uh, deal. Carter Gregory going to hand off to Cade Perkins, and Cade Perkins right up the middle for a big 14-yard gain as he brings it up to about the 42-yard line. He's in Campbell Lee in motion. He's rocking down toward by us with these other two wide receivers in the slot. Carter Gregory looking to throw. Throws it. He's got it to Campbell Lee, and he's good enough for a first down, Anthony, out at the 41. Yeah, down to the – Got an audible coming in. Cade Perkins, you can see him right there with Carter Gregory. Dragu down here at the bottom. They hand it off to Carter Gregory up the middle, and boy, Gregory just gashes them for Perkins. about nine yards. Kate Perkins gashes them for about nine yards. Keaton Perkins, and there were several times he could have busted a big play, but because of not missed, missing tackles, they were able to keep him bottled up. Number 50, uh, James, Jaquavius James was there. Jaquavia James was there on the stop for the Riverdale Warriors. Now from a shotgun, Carter Gregory looking to throw. Throws it. Boy, Campbell Lee was right there, Anthony. In the slot. Now they're switching everybody around. Got Cade Perkins running a wildcat, you all. And he's going to try to go into the end zone. Ooh, they're pushing, pushing they're pushing, pushing, pushing. Yeah, and they give it to they him. They give it to him. Touchdown, Cade Perkins. Ooh, touchdown, geez. Blackman. Oh, that really? Field. Band must not be in position yet as we don't, we don't hear him playing. Born Bozen on to kick the PAT. It's untimed down. And he's got it. The kick is good. So, 808 left to go here in the third quarter. Stay on that Albertville score, Sam. One at the top, three at the bottom, and they hand it off to D.J. Taylor on the left side. There Taylor's goes. got it. D.J. Taylor. Ooh, boy, game save. Touchdown saving tackle made there by number 15, McGaffey. Trey territory. It's marked on the 48-yard line. First and 10 now for Braden Graham. One to the top, three to the bottom, and Graham will work from a shotgun. Graham claps his hands. He's looking, 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 catching some heat, spinning. He's going to go to the ground, Anthony. Yeah, just a good coverage set. Uh, well, two to the top and two to the bottom. DJ Taylor just to the right of Braden Graham. He'll work from a shotgun as his feet set just on the 47-yard line of the Blackman Blaze. Cuts it loose, and boy, that's Brock Montgomery. Still on his feet, spins, going. Montgomery, boy, what a great play as he works up to about the 15-yard line. Stork, you got any green gloves? I don't have any green gloves. Maybe I ought to buy some. That's a good idea. Look at here. 
Braden Graham. Touchdown, Braden Graham. Touchdown, Riverdale Warriors. Touchdown number six on the night. Nine plays, 72 yards, three minutes and 52 seconds. Burned off the clock. Perkins, 20 rushes, 86 yards, and a TD from the desk of Dean Fox. And he'll be giving me those stats here shortly as he's keeping up with everything that's going on. And we appreciate you, Dean. Frost to snap, Smith to hold, Khalil Armand pops it, dots that eye here at Tomahawk. And Blackman, 247. Play is changing. Cade Perkins is going to go to the left of Carter Gregory. Carter Gregory, lots of time, Anthony. And now it's intercepted. can get at least three points out of this drive here. It puts it into a spinning clock. And that's not what you want. Graham looking to throw. Boy, he's got a man. Good that ball. He's going out there to Knoxville. Graham from a shotgun. It is a big win. Boy, wow. I mean, just threaded it, Anthony. Henry County probably going to be a team competing for the 5A state title. Germantown probably is definitely the same in for it. 6A. Yeah. yeah, definitely in it. I think they're undefeated. Braden Graham. Who's he find? Montgomery. Brock Montgomery. Took a big hit. Graham going to work from a shotgun. Looking. Pressure looking coming. pressure. Boy, big 79 got a hold of him. That's the second time tonight. That's Roseman. Archie Roseman. Yeah, big, you're probably not going to get away. Brock Montgomery comes back in. He's at the bottom of your screen, you all, and Graham likes throwing to him. And also got Braylon Vanderbilt at the top. They hand it off. That's Verser this time. Yeah, Isaiah Verser. His first carry. Violent of the runner. Violent runner and gets it on him. Smyrna 19, Stewart's Creek 18. That's down at the Governor's Cup. Grissom 13, Albertville. Because their next opponent is on the field, and that's, uh, that's the Blackman Blaze. We'll be following Blackman all the way out. Pressure coming. Graham, now he's going to run it, Anthony. He's off to the races, and he's going to get that first down, and Anthony. See, that's what hurts sometimes when you bring a blitz. If a the work with Keyshawn Williams and Vanderbilt down here at the bottom. Brock Montgomery's up at the top. Dean Fox just slid me those stats. Keyshawn Williams. Yes, you can see the flags. They're parallel to the earth. Graham going to hand off. That's Isaiah Verser. Isaiah Verser going to go to Indian zone. Touchdown, Verser. Touchdown, Riverdale. A good cutback there by Verser. Yeah, well, uh, he's on the way back. Uh, Hollywood's on the way back from the <laughs> West Coast and just uh, just passed Dean Fox, the fox that rocks as he was hovering high above us. High snap. Khalil Armand, did he get it? He, he got it. it. Wow. <laughs> what a kick, you all. Khalil Armand didn't have much time to kick that thing. Really good job right there saving that one. All right, Carter Gregory going to work from a shotgun with three wide receivers. They're going to send zero. That's Campbell Lee in motion. That's Cade Perkins, you all. Stiff arming, still staying on his feet. Boy, he's done a really good job for the Blackman Blaze tonight trying to run the football, and he's handled most of that ground game for them. So three wide, four wide receivers is uh, what Carter Gregory's going to try to work for. One tailback. Carter Gregory completes it out to Cade Perkins. You all, he's got a first down. He just gashed him for about 14, 15 yards. Nice yeah, little run. And, and you Josh Crouch is the head coach of Green Hill, and he was the one that uh, caught that pass that broke Riverdale's back in 2006 in a playoff game. Touchdown, Cade Perkins. Touchdown, Blackman Blaze. It's uh, pull it up. See how close we are. It was see if in we... like Franklin area last I looked. So I think we're going to get this game in, but we're going to yeah. have to hurry, crashing the equipment. All right, Boozenbob. Have there. Who you, who you using? T-Mobile. Come on, T-Mobile. 36 left to go here. Our sponsor tonight was John Jones. John Jones Real Estate. Nobody sells homes like John. Luke big, Smith. Big win for Riverdale. Not yep. only to get yourself into the playoffs, but to do it against a rival, you know. and uh, Probably a little dinged up, but no injuries, no big injuries. Nobody got hurt real bad or anything. And good run there by Isaiah Verser. 
That's going to get them first down yardage. Appreciate everybody joining us tonight. Hope you all enjoyed the broadcast. We've got two more left that we are guaranteed. Uh, playoffs uh, have to get with uh, Matt Gillespie and Corey Stenecker and those guys. Those guys will assign us. We do not pick where we go for playoffs. We are assigned uh, where we go. Colorado up seven to nothing. Coach Prime, Coach That's Prime. The final play of the contest. Spencer's the happy final as she can be. be okay. That's your final score, 55 to 28. The, they're shaking hands as the clock goes down with 11 seconds, eight seconds left here at Riverdale High School. Appreciate everybody joining us. Dominic Coward and the refing crew are making their way off the field. Uh, uh, I'm going to run through some scores and uh, – We'll uh, get that TI-30 Texas Instrument calculator he's got to get us those final stats. We'll do the cast of characters, then we're going to get out of here and close it out for week nine, game eight here at Riverdale. Loretto 48, Eagleville 7, that game's still going on. We're knotted up at 28s with Mount Juliet and Lebanon. The Colorado Rockies and Coach Prime, 7 nothing. Right now in the first quarter over Stanford. The Buffalo. The Buffalo, sorry. The Rockies. What am I thinking? I can't baseball. say that all the time. Yeah, that's me. You're thinking baseball. Grissom beat Albertville 13 to 12. Laverne was a winner 27 to 24. Congrats to Laverne High School over Green Hill. Smyrna, they held off Stewart's Creek 19 to 18. Wow. Tulane, they're a winner, 31-21 over Memphis. Oakland, big winner over Coffee County. They're in the playoffs, 42 to nothing. Beach beat Siegel, 48 to 10. McEwen, a big winner. Coach Rick Rice, congratulations, 27 to seven over Perry County. Rockville, Coach Gut, big winner. Congrats, 35-14 over JP2. MUS got a hold of Coach McDaniel, 21 to seven. Lipscomb, a big winner over. Philip Shedd Owens and the Knox Catholic Fighting Irish, 33 to 10. Maribel, big winner over Chandler Tigard, 34 to 7. Bearden, 33, Oak Ridge, 29. And Bearden's going to be seated high out of that bracket, you all. Middle Tennessee Christian, 47. Kings Academy, 7. Grayson County, 16. Seneca, 6. And that is your scoreboard for tonight. We're waiting on the stats from Dean Fox, the Fox at Rocks. Once those comes in, I'll give you the cast of characters for tonight that brought everything to us, and we'll get out of here. The director of schools is Dr. James Sullivan. Stretch over across 624 square miles. 360,000 people live here. Tamar Blair is your principal. Okay, let's run through everything, and then I'll give you the final deals. As Thank you, Dean Fox. You can head on back home and Push the thrusters and the flux capacitor to its limit as you get out away from the rain in your space capsule. Blackman 21, Riverdale 18 and first down. So Blackman had more first downs than Riverdale. Rushing, Blackman 125, Riverdale 159. Passing, Blackman 193, Riverdale 326. There's your number, Anthony. Total yards, 318 for the Blackman Blaze, 485 for the Riverdale Warriors. Turnovers, Blackman had two, Riverdale had one. Penalties, eight penalties for 63 yards, eight penalties for 110 for Riverdale. Got to get that cleaned up. Graham, 18 for 27, 326 in the air, five TDs. Williams, three touchdowns receiving. Keyshawn Williams. Brock Montgomery, two touchdowns receiving. Verser run. Graham a run to give you that. Perkins had 29 rushes for 118 yards and two touchdowns. Do you have anything, Anthony? All righty. Uh, kids, this guy, he, uh, he wrote and developed our, he, wrote, he constructed our website. He developed our app. He's been giving me scores all night. He has a degree in systems analysis, another one in data processing from Western Kentucky University. He lives in Louisville, Kentucky. That's Sam, the soccer man. Lady on the camera tonight. She's a manager at Nada Restaurant. Sells some hats every once in a while at Rustler. Her best friend is her dog, Sophie. That's my daughter, Jody Spencer. Appreciate you, Spencer. You did a great job tonight. This guy was my color analyst tonight. He does MTSU soccer, football, softball, boxing, and he's even done a few hockey games. 
He has a degree in media communications from MTSU, counts money in the day from Los Angeles, California, Anthony Fiorella. The sky was hovering high above us tonight. He's from parts unknown, but he did graduate from Otterbein College from, with, a, with a media communications degree, home of the Cardinals. He does our stats. He does our graphics. That's Dean Fox, the fox that rocks. My name's Stork Montgomery. I own and operate this contraption. We call it Stork Vision. I have a degree from Eastern Kentucky University in public relations, a minor in media sales. And we appreciate you for joining us, and we'll be out at Rockville next Friday night, and we will see you there. No, next, that arrow, that, no, over to the right. Yeah, hit that.